We can see the finish line now, guys. One more week. I've been trying to hype you guys up with this countdown for every single video because we get closer and closer with each passing day for Marvel Spider-Man 2 being in everybody's hands. I can't even believe it. I mean, two years ago now, we were looking at that same freaking image for Spider-Man 2 forever. And now so many trailers have been released. So much information has been released and the full game is coming out next week. And we got a lot to go over here in today's video, including two alternate suits that have been officially revealed at New York Comic Con. Some cool stuff that you can see for Spider-Man 2 out in the wild in the real world right now if you wanted to. And then also the fact that you can download the game today. And so yeah, let's start off with that. For those that don't know, the preload for Marvel Spider-Man 2 has officially begun as of today. So if you pre-order the game digitally, if you got that digital deluxe edition, or even if you got the console, the Spider-Man 2 actual console bundle that comes with the code for the game, you can input that code right now into your console and download it. That way on October 20th, or even at midnight, I guess you could say on October 19th, you can just jump right in and play. You don't need to sit there and wait for it to officially download. I understand for some people this is tough because there's a lot of people out there that want to own the game physically so you're just gonna have to wait until you can pop that disc into your playstation 5 and download it then and don't get me wrong i love my physical media i am definitely ordering a couple of copies actually of spider-man 2 physically because well i gotta give some away to you guys you know make sure you hit that like button because we're doing a ton of giveaways for marvel spider-man 2 coming up you do not want to miss and okay we also got that cgi trailer just over a week ago for marvel spider-man 2 it was so good i just recently did a breakdown for that trailer it's up on the channel Channel right now if you'd like to check that out and since then there's been some cool stuff that's been out in the wild in the real world if you can believe it for spider-man 2 tailored for this cgi trailer both in downtown los angeles and now officially confirmed in downtown toronto canada there's actually this billboard that gives you a 3d ad for spider-man 2 part of it is what you've already seen from the cgi trailer but again with that really cool 3d effect and then there's also an added bit which gives us a new look at venom as he kind of peeks out and roars at the crowd before the spider-man web him down and then strike a pose it's pretty awesome new look at venom through this ad as well as a new look at peter with those iron arms and miles's new upgraded suit they look fantastic and so you know if you live in toronto canada or if you live in los angeles you can go right now to downtown in both of those locations and check out this billboard it's in young dundas square in toronto canada i'm not exactly sure where it's located in los angeles but head out there see if you can find it see if you can get a video of it yourself and all right I know everybody is really, really excited for the alternate suits that are going to be in this game. We've gotten a good glimpse now already at the 10 digital deluxe edition suits that are going to be in the game, as well as good looks at the pre-order bonus suits. You know, the Arachnite suit for Peter and the Shadow Spider suit for Miles. We know as well a ton of costumes that are going to be in the game thanks to that open world trailer, one of which includes that Sam Raimi Spider-Man 3 symbiote suit, which I was very happy to see but we were all sitting in anticipation to see what was going to be shown at new york comic-con and finally marvel had their panel yesterday and they went over two new costumes and just in general dished on the suits the designers for these suits and then in general kind of the philosophy at insomniac for when they create these alternate costumes for the game so first things first we have the brooklyn 2099 suit which was designed by torin clark who is an artist at marvel comics and has drawn miles morales before this suit is is awesome in my opinion i love that futuristic look to it anything 2099 i am down for and i believe if i'm remembering correctly that the miles 2099 suit the base one that was from spider-man miles morales is returning in this game so he's getting some futuristic love in marvel spider-man 2 and thankfully torin clark was there at new york comic-con and was able to give some information some more insight behind his design for this suit so take it away you've drawn for miles in the comics as well before yeah how was designing this suit in the game? What was the process like? Uh, it's wild because initially I wanted to do kind of an homage to our run of Miles, so something along the lines of a, a bodysuit that was still very Brooklyn, but also kind of futuristic. So keeping it in theme with uh, Chase Conley's design, the anniversary suit, which I believe is also in the game, which is yes, amazing yes. if you guys haven't seen that. <laughs> Shout out to Chase. Um, Basically, I wanted to do a streamlined version of that with kind of a streetwear meets futuristic armor kind of a vibe, but still very much a spider 
with the eight eyes and that sort of a thing. Yes. Oh my God, it's, it's insane. I love it. Some great insight there from Torin about the design for this costume. I really love the look of it. And I'm glad again that Miles is getting some more love when it comes to alternate looks, because of course he's a newer character. He doesn't have a huge history of alternate suits from the comic books for them to choose from. But also, you know, we have that 10th anniversary suit for Miles. That is one of my favorite alternate looks for Miles. And I'm so glad that it's in this game. Moving on though, we got another costume revealed for Marvel Spider-Man 2, this being the Como suit, and this was designed by Peach Momoko. She is also an artist who draws covers and comics for Marvel, which I am so happy once again that they are employing the people who actually do stuff for Marvel Comics to create these new suits for the games. And man, the Como suit goes so hard. Oh my God, it looks so sick. There's also concept art that was released for this suit that Peach Momoko put out, and man, it looks so damn good. There's a giant spider tattoo on Peter's back. That's just incredible. And Peach Momoko actually tweeted to give a bit more information about her design philosophy for the Como suit for Peter Parker. She said here, I designed Peter Parker's costume for Spider-Man 2. I imagined a Japanese festival. I thought it might be too aggressive, but the CG turned out really cool and I'm really impressed. I hope you like it. Yeah, I, I think we like it a lot, actually. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is a really dope design for Peter. She also mentioned on the panel at New York Comic Con that there are a sleeve of tattoos down Peter arms again so sick and yeah we got that screenshot of it in game it looks so damn good and we actually got confirmation that there are going to be more costumes that are coming to marvel spider-man 2 after the launch of the game we know there's going to be over 65 suits to choose from when we get our hands on the game as well as over 200 ways to customize those costumes with the different color palettes but now we know for sure that there are new costumes coming to the game post launch check out this video here from an actual real life artist kid super what's up everybody it's column from kid super and i have a very special announcement for the upcoming marvel spider-man 2 game insomniac dropped some cool suits and this got me thinking what if i could design some suits that peter and miles could wear in game now i get to team up with rena sawayama lando norris and venetius jr to design custom spider-man suits that will appear after launch thanks so much playstation insomniac and marvel games let's see what we can make Stay tuned and we will be giving you sneak peeks. Leather is always so sought after. I do like stealth. Seeing one with the clothes of Brazil would be nice. Legal, very legal. As we bring greater together to life for this incredible game. So that's right, Kid Super, Holland specifically at Kid Super, is going to be teaming up with Rina Sawayama, Vinicius Jr., and Lando Norris to create suits, plural, for Marvel Spider-Man 2 that will be dropping for the game post-launch. That's really exciting news, in my opinion. That's confirmation that what they release on day one isn't going to be the only piece of content that they drop for this game. And that similarly to what they did with both Spider-Man PS4 and then as well, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and I guess you can consider Spider-Man Remastered, there's going to be new suit drops that come to the game for free and no additional cost after the game comes out. I'm very glad to hear that, honestly. I'm looking forward to seeing what these suits are going to look like and then as well, what other costumes may be coming to the game. And I'm also really looking forward to you guys subscribing to this channel and turning on those notifications. Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes out next freaking week. I can't believe we're just about there. I would like to officially confirm for you guys, actually, that I have platinumed Marvel Spider-Man 2. My review goes out on Monday, October 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern. So make sure you're getting up bright and early and you're ready for my review to drop right here on this channel. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with all your thoughts on everything here in this video in the comment section below. What do you think about those two new suits that were revealed for the game? And also, have you preloaded Marvel Spider-Man 2 on your console yet? Do you got it downloaded? Do you got it ready for October 20th? And then finally, are you hyped that there's gonna be more suits coming to the game after it releases on October 20th? Sound off with all your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.